Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Spam Nation, a creation by Brian Krebs. Spam Nation exposes how a small group of spammers and cyber criminals have built a highly profitable yet largely unlawful industry. The implications of spam extend beyond the annoyance of email scams, posing risks to individuals, businesses, governments, and even entire societies. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Brian Krebs, an award-winning investigative journalist, has 14 years of experience reporting on cybercrime for the Washington Post. Additionally, he covers computer security topics on his renowned blog, KrebsOnSecurity.com. With eight key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book. On StoryPlane.net. To start, key point. Spammers are posing a threat to internet users worldwide. The text highlights the prevalence of cyber threats like viruses and spam and the financial gains of cyber criminals. It emphasizes the need to understand how spammers operate and the importance of staying vigilant to avoid falling victim to cybercrime. It also mentions the risks associated with buying drugs online, government actions against tech companies, and the importance of being cautious with emails, even if they appear to be from trusted sources. Key idea number one. Spam is not just marketing. It can contain harmful software that can take control of your computer. Spam emails are not just annoying marketing ploys. They can also distribute viruses and malware that pose a serious threat. Malicious software in spam emails can infect computers, turning them into tools for cybercrime. This can include participating in distributed denial of service, DDoS attacks, where websites are bombarded with data, making them unavailable until a ransom is paid. The dangers of spam emails extend beyond just being annoying marketing messages. Key idea number two. A small number of leaders control the profitable spam industry by forming partnerships to expand their influence. The spam industry is efficiently run by a few experienced cyber criminals, such as Pavel Vrublevsky, known as Red Eye. Vrublevsky operated a network of porn sites and co-founded an online forum for spammers. He also led Chronopay, a payment service for cybercrime schemes. His arrest caused a significant drop in fake antivirus software scams. Partnercus, like RX Promotion, facilitates spam networks by linking spammers with illegal businesses for profit. Key idea number three. Russian spammers are a significant source of the daily spam inundating your inbox. The spam industry is driven by a small group of dedicated spammers who use hacked computers to send vast amounts of spam. One key player is Russian spammer Dmitry Neshvalod, known as Google, who was behind the cut whale botnet, capable of sending 16 billion spam messages per day. Another spam kingpin, known as Cosma, created the Rostock botnet, sending 30 billion spam messages daily. Cosma earned significant commissions through various partnerships promoting pharmacy websites. Key idea number four. Be cautious of cheap medication offers, as they are likely too good to be true and may pose health risks. The text discusses the impact of expensive medications on individuals facing serious diseases. It highlights the allure of discounted medication offered by rogue online pharmacies. These pharmacies sold drugs at lower prices compared to traditional pharmacies, drawing in customers seeking more affordable options. However, the risk associated with these rogue pharmacies is emphasized, as some distributed fake or harmful medications leading to tragic outcomes like poisoning and death. Key idea number five. A dispute among spam leaders caused the sudden closure of illicit online pharmacy businesses. As the rogue pharma business grew, spam kingpins Igor Gusev and Pavel Vrublevsky became richer, but their rising wealth led to paranoia and distrust. The hostility between them escalated into the pharma wars, resulting in significant financial losses and legal troubles. Gusev bribed law enforcement to target Vrublevsky, but was later exposed, 
leading to the closure of his operations and escape from the country. This feud negatively impacted the spam industry, attracting political and law enforcement scrutiny and driving spammers to abandon their lucrative businesses. Key idea number six, individuals combating spam can become targets of cyber criminals. Anti-spam activists work to combat cyber criminals, but often face risks. Blue Security created a tool, Blue Frog, to combat spammers by sending back requests to stop spam, but when ignored, flooded spammers' inboxes with requests from users. Spammers retaliated, causing Blue Security's investor to pull out and the company to shut down. Spammers can unite to attack those hindering them, as seen in the massive cyber attack on the non-profit Spam House in 2013. Sven Olaf Kampuis, involved in coordinating the attack, was later arrested. Key idea number seven. Private companies play a significant role in combating cybercrime. Private companies, including credit card companies, play a significant role in combating cybercrime by implementing stricter protocols to protect against illegal activities. For example, Visa made changes in 2012 to classify sales of pharmaceutical-related products as high-risk, requiring companies to meet specific criteria to obtain payment processing contracts. Companies aiding in illegal online activities now face consequences, as seen with the case of domain registrar S Domains losing accreditation in 2008 due to criminal associations. Google was fined $500 million in 2011 for allowing rogue pharmacies to advertise in the US, reflecting the profits made from hosting the ads. Key idea number eight. Ransomware and botnets are increasingly common and dangerous, so stay vigilant. Spammers and cybercriminals have evolved tactics to bypass regulations. Fake antivirus software industry is declining due to restrictions. Ransomware is a rising threat where victims are tricked into paying fines by encrypting their files. Botnets like Rustock now spread malware to harvest passwords. Cybercriminals target small companies to obtain sensitive financial information for personal gain. In conclusion, key message. Spam emails are part of an industry run by cybercriminals and pose a threat. Advice. Protect your password by making it strong with over 10 characters, including numbers, letters, and special characters. Further reading. The Net Delusion by Evgeny Morozov discusses internet myths. Feedback is welcome at rememberstoryplanet.net. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories, and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.